on a tour. Tour of infamous climbing out of fields and some epic waterfalls. All in one day. Hey guys, it's Angel Tez and I'm up early in the morning in Paisley to go and catch a train and then a bus. I'm catching a bus to go to Culloden Battlefield today. I'm doing an audio documentary on saving Culloden Battlefield. If you don't know, 16 houses are going to be built near Culloden Battlefield and I'm not happy with it. That's my train. <laughs> this documentary actually helped stop 16 houses that are going to be built in Culloden Battlefield so hopefully this helps the council stop it because this is just a stupid idea. The reason I think Culloden Battlefield should be saved is one, it gets tourists to come to Inverness so they can check out the history in Inverness but really it's just Culloden Battlefield. Number two, it's a nice place to walk your dog. And number three, just imagine you're at Cologne Battlefield and you're getting a guide tour around Cologne Battlefield by guide. But guess what? You can't hear it because 16 houses are getting built on Cologne Battlefield. By 2020, half of Cologne Battlefield would be like gone. And all it would be like is half of the battlefield in the visiting centre of National Trust Scotland. Seriously, I want these houses to be stopped. And with this documentary, it actually may help. So I'm going to go off to Cologne Battlefield hopefully today and do an audio documentary on Cologne Battlefield. And maybe this documentary may help save Cologne Battlefield. Because the empty field should be just left as it is to remember what happened on that field. Follow me. Do not believe what I'm recording right now with my audio recorder. Oh my goodness. Whatever's moving there, that's not effects. That's not me. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Maybe it's a fairy invisible. Oh. It's just a reflection of the waterfall. I'm recording some waterfall sounds. You cannot believe what I'm hearing right now. Oh wow, that's nice. Kind of sounds like white noise. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try? Much more directional. Does that sound amazing? Yes. All the dead bodies, all the 150 Jacobites under this field. You can see all the stones. Just remember all the people who died. We've got Clan Fraser over here. People still remember them. Look at the roses. He's helping with me with a, with a little bit of documentary things. What's your name? My name's Gordon Douglas Swain. And you're not actually from Scotland, where are you nope. from? I'm from the United States of America. I'm from upstate New York. Um, but my mother has decided that for her retirement project, she's traced her genealogy all the way back to the famous Douglas clans in Scotland. All the way back to the Black Douglas. So your parent, your family's like buried under here? Um, somewhere in here there's some distant relatives, I'm sure. Um, I don't know how they're related, per se, um, but clan is clan. And I'm sure there's a Douglas clan epitaph here somewhere, I just haven't found it yet. We haven't got much time to find that stone no. you're thinking of. And it's such a big feel. It is, oh my goodness. Yeah. What do you think of Colin Battlefield? Um, haunting. <laughs> haunting. Do you feel like you can hear voices of the battle right now? <laughs> yeah. Or something. <laughs> yeah, I can. If you look closely enough, you can see 
where the lines of soldiers would be, right? You can almost feel the emotions in the air as you walk from stone to stone. You know, earlier I told you, 16 houses are going to be built near this battlefield. What do you think of that? <sighs> it's not a good it's, plan. It's not a great plan, no. Um, they would do really a lot better to just move them a little further back. Um, way back. Way back, sure. Um, the, you know, there's always a constant problem between the prog you know, progress and pr preservation. Right. You know, th what's the famous quote? Those who do not learn from history are bound to repeat it. <laughs> You've heard that one too much, yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, I've heard that one too. Yeah. Well, it's it's pretty true, but losing part of your history, particularly about somewhere as important as Culloden Battlefield, yeah, would be a huge loss to not just Scotland but everybody. Um, at the same time, people have got to find places to live. Right. That's, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of schools being built right now around mm -hmm. Inverness, so I can see why they're yeah. also building houses. Yeah, but I'm not liking the idea. No, I I don't know. On the whole, I'm not particularly sold on the idea of putting them right there. No, like uh, across. Yeah, the, yeah, right. Over over the road, over the road, the houses are going to be built. Yeah, um, I don't know. Don't like it. Not not a huge fan, no. So that's why I'm making this documentary, to make sure the council stops this. And if this doesn't work, it was worth coming here anyway. Yeah. Because by 2020, this place is going to look different. It's not going to be this empty field where a battle was. There's going to be houses built over the road. So that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well that's a good answer. Yes. Good luck with that. I'll try. Yeah. This group on Facebook called the, the Scotland the Great. It's just about talking about Scotland. Uh -huh. No matter the what. Because Scotland's beautiful, but sometimes we have to debate about it. Because in Scotland, uh -huh. we like to complain about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We complain about the weather. We complain about the battlefield. What's going to happen on it. And we no, complain you know about a lot of stuff. You guys complain about the weather. Glasgow got shut down for what, three days from that snowstorm? Beast from the east. I walk outside in shorts in that weather in New England. No! Yeah! I looked out my window and went, really? And now it's gonna come back and we may have snow during this Easter again. <laughs> Do you just love weather? No! Yeah, well, we're lucky because, um, the east coast of New England right now is about three feet under. Ooh. Three feet of snow under. See this weather we've got right now? We did not get this at all sometimes. I know it's a bit windy, but this is lovely. Oh yeah, this is great weather. Loving this. Loving this. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. American! So guys, now I'm back home in Inverness. We've been to Colin Battlefield. We've been to House of Brewery. And now I'm home for three hours because of this tour. I could have come home by myself on a train, but you know what? I can be bothered playing too much money just to come home. Plus, I need to be in Glasgow, make a documentary, and need to be in Glasgow for college, so I can't come home, really. My mum and dad don't even know I'm here. I haven't even told them. Your map. This is my map. Oh, jeez. Oh. Do you think it's an lovely drawing? <laughs> it's done by our guide tour. Oh, really? Yeah. Not very detailed. But Not as detailed this one. No. Yeah, no. What are you looking at? Okay, 
I'm immediately home, and as you can hear, there's a dog barking outside. So I'm not going to tell you why I got a tour bus in the office. I'm going to tell you why in the bedroom, in the messy bedroom right now it is. I immediately just got in, I just thought, you know what, I should get this over and done with before I head to bed. It's like quarter past nine, and you need to get changed, clean this room, and then head to bed. I was on a tour with students. The reason I got on a tour because, one, I was trying to find a cheap ticket to go home. It kind of worked out. Two, I was trying to do a documentary that's aimed for students, and students were on this bus. The student tour Scotland bus trip around Scotland. And say we went to Inverness, Colin Batfield, a bit of Perth. We went to Hasselburgh and some other places that have waterfalls. Uh, so we went around there. It was really good. So I'm glad I went with the students and got their opinion, what they thought of Colin Batfield, what they thought of our students tour Scotland and other things. And the third reason I went on the trip is because I was trying to make a documentary. A documentary on hashtag save Colin Battlefield. 16 houses are going to be built near Colin Battlefield. I've talked about this. I'm complaining about it. Try not to complain about it down for you guys about Colin Battlefield. And I've asked students' opinion what they thought of the development that may be happening near Colin Battlefield. I've asked local people what they thought of their opinion. The documentary is from my radio course. I have to get it done by June. That's my documentary, hashtag save Clotten Battlefield. I have to listen back to every single interview. I have to listen back to what Gary said about uh, Jacobites. I have to listen back to a lot of stuff. And hopefully the wind did not, you know, interrupt all the interviews. So that's why I went on that trip today, guys. It was good. I would recommend going back on it again for myself and other people who are students. Because, one, it's cheap to go around Scotland just to go on a tour bus for one day. And Gary, who's a tour guide, gives you so many stories, made up stories of fairies, history stories that are, sound real. Um, he gives a story about Jacobites, and you listen back to that again because it was a long story. Um, we played bus bingo back on the way up here. It was really fun because, like, we weren't bored listening to all the history stuff a local actual guide would say on the bus. He was telling us stories, they didn't sleep on the bus. And then let's just have a funny time on the bus by going around Scotland. Today we went to my hometown Inverness and Cologne Battlefield and we checked out some epic, epic waterfalls today. That's what I did today. Went on a tour bus, tried to do a documentary on hashtag Cologne Battlefield. But you know what? After I finished the tour, I feel like I made a documentary about student tourist Scotland, the bus trip I was on. So if I make two or three documentaries out of this, I'm very proud of myself. I don't know what I did today. I made a documentary on hashtag Clone Battlefield or I made a documentary on Student Tours Scotland. I don't know what I did today. <laughs> but I must say, I have had a good day. I have not wasted my time. Yes, I could go back to my hometown. You never believe what I got in this. It's amazing. It's this beautiful rose that is colourful. Mixed with so many colours, I'm trying to get out of this bag to show you. There it is. Whoa. I asked the lady how long it take you to make this and she said it just arrived like this and I was amazed. Some people got a book, some people got a postcard or some people just got a postcard just from winning a spingle on the student tour of Scotland and then I went on the tour today and I feel like I just made a documentary about the tour. Student tour of Scotland, I feel like I just made a documentary about that. I did mention that, that to Gary, I made me a documentary about your company, your bus trip that you do student tour of Scotland. I may have done a documentary on that. He said, that's cool, get back in touch with me and we'll, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> so I can interview him. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe. And if you really are interested in my documentaries that I'm trying to make, whether they're on audio or on video, I'm trying to make one on video, please go to my Mixcloud channel or go to my Soundcloud channel and you can hear the documentaries there. One may be called hashtag save clone battlefield. Hopefully I can make that documentary. One could be called Student Tours Scotland Documentary. That would be for you, Gary. Uh, and want to make a documentary called What's a Cosplayer? But the main documentary is up on my mixed cloud right now is called Homelessness. What to do if you're homeless? That documentary is up. I made that documentary back in 2016, I think, for my HNC radio course. So you check out that documentary because I am a person who makes documentaries. I've made one. So there you go. I am a person who makes documentaries. 
And I feel like I would do that out for my career, making documentaries. Yeah, so watch out guys. Listen to my documentaries. Give me a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe.